Here we're given the impulse response of an LTI system and we're asked for the output for a very specific input X of T. So when we have an LTI system with an input X, the output Y is always the integral or the convolution integral of H of T and X of T. So it's the convolution of the two. So we know X and we know H. What we do is we carry out a convolution between the two. So what we want is the output. So that's Y of T. And that's simply X of T convolved with H of T. And remember, the convolution integration is simply X of alpha or tau times H of T minus alpha D alpha. So now we simply just plug that in there and that in there. So minus infinity to infinity e to the minus 3t u of t times u of so that wouldn't be t it would be alpha and here we'd have t minus 2 would be alpha it's t minus alpha so we need to say t minus alpha minus 2 d alpha now don't worry about these unit steps these unit steps we just replace by 1 so here this we would replace by 1 but that would replace this unit uh, sorry this limit with 0 and similarly, if you say t minus alpha minus 2 equals 0, so alpha equals t minus 2, that would change this limit to um, t minus 2. And then we wouldn't need to worry about it because it would just be 1. But whenever we do that, we need to remind ourselves that... Um, t minus 2 has to be greater than 0. So if we have these two limits, 0 and t minus alpha, t minus 2 has to be greater than 0. So let's tidy this up a little bit. y of t is equal to the integral from 0 to t minus 2 of e to the minus 3 alpha d alpha. So that's just one over three. If you do the plus and minus, you end up with one minus e to the minus three t minus two. And because we said that t minus 2 has to be greater than 0, that we can write mathematically by saying u of t minus 2. Because u of t minus 2 is a unit step that starts at t equals 2. So that means if we said t minus 2 is greater than 0, that means t is greater than 2. So here t is greater than 2. So this is the way we represent that mathematically. So our final answer, find the output. My output is this expression here. And that would be your final answer.